Hi there, this is Northern Axis, and today we're going to show you a absolutely mandatory uh, firmware upgrade on the iSat Phone Pro uh, satellite phone. So those of you that have, still have uh, iSat Phone Pros, which is the uh, satellite phone that looks like this here. You get a little bit better light and then has the antenna that folds out from the back the blue version this is not the isat phone 2 this is the isat phone pro now those of you that still have this phone there is a mandatory upgrade because basically what's been happening is those that have this phone uh they have absolutely no signal or it uh, just doesn't register on the network so they have released a firmware that's uh, 5.11.0, I believe it is, uh, which I have everything already downloaded here on our desktop for you, but we're gonna go through the steps of how uh, to do it, basically. So you can get your phone back up and running again. Uh, so first of all, you're gonna wanna go ahead uh, and the shortest way, I guess, for me to show you, you can also go to MRSAT's website to download the firmware. But uh, here at Northern Access, I guess we're going to favor showing you. Uh, we always have the latest firmwares uh, on our, uh, our website here at northernaccess.com. And, of course, access is spelled A-X-C-E-S-S -S, and then .com. So that northernaccess.com, and then uh, you'll want to go over here to uh, support. Go to satellite phone support, which we've already done. We're right here on uh, satellite phone support, so you'll want to just kind of scroll down to where you see ISAT Phone Pro satellite phone. Click on that. Now you see the ISAT Phone Pro USB drivers, firmware upgrade tools, and so on. Right now we have, that's the uh, ISAT Phone Pro firmware version 5.11 or 5.11.0. And then you see their mandatory upgrade. It's mandatory because literally this will affect getting your phone back working again. So if your phone has stopped working, all of a sudden, this will get it back working. And this is happening all over uh, currently. Uh, so uh, there's the also the iSat Phone Pro right below it, the firmware release notes, which also tell you kind of how to install it and some of the things that it does, uh, the bug fixes, and so on. Uh, you'll also want to, so basically you'll want to download the firmware which is a zip download. You'll have to extract it onto your desktop. So, you know, when you download it, it'll go into your downloads folder and then you can extract it, put it on your desktop. That's really the easiest thing for me to do. Uh, and then the firmware release notes, so you can kind of have the instructions uh, to follow for yourself, which makes it a little bit easier. And then you're going to want to also download the iSat Phone Pro USB drivers. That is also a zip download, which you'll have to extract. Now, there's also the thing right below that on how to install the USB drivers, which also might be helpful for you to download. It's a PDF for you to read on how to install the USB drivers. You have to do that first so the computer will recognize the iSat Phone Pro when you plug in the USB. Uh, so it'll go through two steps after you do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's pretend basically you've already downloaded the firmware upgrade, uh, the USB drivers, and some of the PDF uh, you know, documents on how to do that. And um, basically, uh, let's see here. We'll just go ahead and, and just to show you, actually to back this up, this is actually MRSAT's website. And right here it says, I've highlighted it, this upgrade to 5.11.0 
is considered to be mandatory to avoid the phone becoming non-operational. So this is very critical. Uh, and they can you can also download some of the same stuff uh, as well on there. Uh, so let's just jump over. We'll go ahead and uh, close this out. I'll show you uh, basically kind of blindly, I guess, what to do. I've already got everything set up on the uh, desktop. I've got the ISAP Phone Pro USB drivers, the firmware upgrade tool. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. In the, uh, let me just kind of show you that real quick. I'm sorry. The, uh, in our website, you'll see there on the very bottom, right there, the firmware upgrade tool right here that is also a zip download so you'll have to extract it again so basically all three zip download files you need the firmware upgrade tool which is going to perform the firmware upgrade the USB drivers which you'll have to do first and then the firmware itself um, the rest of them are uh, are kind of kind of installation guides uh, so let's go ahead and go through it real quick so first of all you'll go ahead and basically let's pretend you've already extracted the USB uh, USB download folder and extracted it this is what it'll look like you'll open it up You'll come down here and you see all this stuff here will be in there. You'll come right down here to setup and you notice right over here to the right of it shows application. So you'll click double click on setup and by the way you can only do this on Windows up to Windows 7 or XP. As I as far as I know now you cannot do this on anything else but Windows 7 or XP. Uh, Windows 8 or 10 is out of the question. So double click on setup, then a pop-up box will show up. Uh, I'm not going to show you because I've already installed it. But a pop-up box will uh, come up and uh, basically you'll have to hit install. It'll actually take a couple seconds, so don't worry. It'll or more than a couple seconds actually. Then it'll give you the, it'll say install, so then you hit install. And then it'll actually take a good uh, maybe one to two minutes while it's actually installing. Then another pop-up box will finally say installed successfully. So while it's you know going through all that, you s sit there and wait until it says that. Then you can browse through maybe some of the uh, the setup documents or installation documents. But. Uh, in this case, uh, after that is set up and you got your USB drivers in place, you're going to want to go ahead and let's see, go ahead and open your firmware upgrade tool. Now, this I've already also extracted. Now, the you see two two types of things one is an uninstall you don't want to do that and then so you'll want to go ahead and uh, double click on ISAP phone pro firmware upgrade tool again it'll uh, go through some steps on selecting language like English agreeing to the terms and conditions you know uh, just the uh, the standard type of installing an application type thing and then you'll finally hit install It'll install it and then you'll be ready to go. Uh, some of the things that it'll have in it, which you'll need for the firmware upgrade to is tool, is this DFU mode. Now, when you plug your phone in and it actually goes into the firmware upgrade mode, it'll, don't worry, it, it'll take a little bit and then you'll see Windows will actually install another driver which will be because of this DFU mode, which is the actual firmware upgrade mode. Uh, so, uh, again, once you open up the upgrade tool, I'll go ahead and up 
open that up so you can see it. Again, I've already got it installed and it says here that none of your data should, will be unaffected. So I've, like I said, I already got the firmware over here, the 5.11.0 already on my desktop. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna have you browse for it. You'll hit that. See, it says firmware upgrade package, select firmware upgrade package. And I'll hit desktop. And then uh, I'll scroll down to where I see the folder. See, it says firmware version 5.11.0 right there. Double click on that. And then you see the pro build version 5.11.0 dash DFU. There's that DFU mode I was talking about. So you click on that and go ahead and hit open and then you'll hit before you hit next well actually you'll go ahead and hit next I'm sorry when you do hit next it'll basically give you the it'll say connect your ISAP phone pro for upgrade so at this point you can see I've already got the USB that came with the phone plugged into the uh, it's kind of hard to see in the kind of the dark light but I've got it plugged into the side and then you'll take the other end right here plug it into the uh, the ISAP phone pro pardon me while I do this real quick Now it should automatically, uh, it says, the phone will actually come on and now it will see, it says, ready to upgrade. So it's actually identified it and then you just hit start upgrade and that's all there is to it. And like I said, don't get worried if it takes a little while and while it's booting up, as you can see, the phone itself actually boots up. When you hit start upgrade, the phone will reboot again and go into what's called that DFU mode. And then Windows will search for that DFU folder that's in that, that package that I showed you. And then it'll actually install that. And then it'll wait. And then it'll say installed successfully. And then it'll then you'll see it the, the progress actually start. So from there, that's basically all there is to it. Sorry it took me so long to actually explain all that, even while I already had everything done, and for some of the noise in the background. But basically, that's all there is to it. And um, if you really, if you have any questions on any of that, please, please, uh, definitely, you know, call us here at Northern Access at 877-299. 9931 and any of us support technicians will be glad to help you walk through it uh, and again like I said this is an absolute mandatory upgrade so if you want to have your non-operational uh, ISAP phone pro that just all of a sudden stopped working uh, back working again install this uh, 5.11.0 firmware and again, from Northern Access, we thank you for watching. If you need any help, give us a call. And uh, we're out. Have a nice day.